Today we are incredibly excited to announce the addition of three new template puppets to our examples page. This includes the punching and kicking ninja, the custom character template Proteus, and the ferocious Thorn the Troll. All of these are Adobe Illustrator files, so they are great examples of vector-based artwork in Character Animator. To get to them, all you have to do is click See More on the Start Workspace inside Character Animator, or just go to adobe.com slash go slash ch examples. As usual, these are totally free for you to use, edit, record, or stream with however you want, no credit needed. In this video, we're gonna walk through each one a little bit and show you what they can do. These first two puppets are done by our friend and frequent contributor, uh, Kevin McMahon from Design Dojo. Um, he's done Bongo the Gorilla, Bandit, the uh, Squash and Stretch character, and a bunch of others. But Ninja, uh, she's pretty cool. She's got head turns here. Um, she also has the um, different body positions, so I can set her to you know, front and profile views uh, however I want. Her eyebrows are really interesting. They make the mask kind of go up and down as I move my eyebrows. She also has eyelids that will kind of open and squint a little bit more, which is nice. And then the mouth is a nutcracker jaw, so it's making the mask move up and down as opposed to the normal uh, lip sync uh, mouth swapping. Another great thing about her is that she has all draggable limbs, so she can do you know karate chops or her feet can drag off and kick as well, um, people, which is a lot of fun. And that's actually incorporated in her replays. So if you go down here, you see super kick and side punch are her replays, and these are done by the G and the H key. So if I press G, she will do a little punch like that. And if I press uh, H, she does a high kick uh, like that. So digging into rig mode, this is a great example of how you can incorporate body turns and head turns within the same character. So here, she's basically got all her different body turns, all her different body positions here. And if I dig into any of them, I can see that like her head, you know, has all the different uh, five views, front, quarter, profile views. And then you can dig into any of these and they will have the face and the nutcracker jaw and all of that stuff. So there's a lot of smart things happening behind the scenes here. Uh, the eyebrows, for example, instead of just the normal horizontal line you might see for eyebrows, they're actually these big overlapping chunks of the mask. And so as they pivot, as you move your eyebrows and tilt them up and down, these big parts pivot and look like they're all one connected uh, mask piece, which is really smart. Kevin also uses the eyelids really well. You don't see this too often in a lot of example puppets. Uh, eyelids, uh, typically, you know, people don't understand them or they feel a little twitchy or whatever, but Kevin does them really nice and subtle, and so you can have a nice little squint or wide-eyed look, and it really adds some extra depth to the character. Eyes are one of the most expressive, important parts of a character performance, and so if you're interested in incorporating eyelids into your characters, I would definitely recommend uh, checking out how he's doing it here. Next up, also from Kevin, we have Proteus. This is a highly customizable character uh, that you have a ton of options down here in the controls panel. So as I click, you know, through different hairstyles or face shapes or whatever, I can make it, you know, a male or a female character. Um, I can add, you know, different types of, of chins and face shapes to it. I can add facial hair, um, all sorts of different things. It's all done in kind of this monochromatic style um, that works really well. Um, and you can do, you know, different eye positions, uh, even take the eye balls away and just make it, uh, you know, just, just basic pupils, um, more of a feminine eye there with the lashes, uh, different glasses if you wanted to do that. So you could, you know, play around with these and create a character that looks, uh, you know, similar to you, um, you know, playing around with all the different parameters, add some earrings, um, some different options there, and then different body styles as well. So behind the scenes, this is all set up with these well-organized groups, and uh, those are controlled in turn by the swap set triggers over here. So I can see I've got a hair swap set, um, and swap set again just means only one of these is gonna show up at any given time, and there's no default here. Um, so by default, he's bald. He doesn't have any uh, hair, but if I were to go into you know hair front and hair back and look at uh, you know hair six, for example, over here, I can see that hair six, uh, both in the back and the front is triggered by uh, pressing the six key over here. So when I press six, that is going to show uh, hair back and hair front, uh, this, this six version. And so I can see, you know, kind of these bangs in the front and the, um, the hair in the back. And so both of those get triggered at any given time. And it's the same thing, you know, with the glasses, with mustaches, all these different things um, are triggered by these various swap sets down here. Now, personally, I really like this kind of monochromatic look for the character, but if you did want to color him or her in, uh, you can do that in the original Illustrator file. So to do that, I would select my puppet over here and go to Edit, Edit Original. 
All right, so this is what this looks like in Illustrator with all the uh, you know things showing up being visible at the same time. I would not recommend digging into this unless you know your way around Illustrator. It can get pretty complicated uh, pretty quickly, but what you can do is kind of cycle through, okay, I know I don't want mustaches for my character, so I'm just gonna delete that group, or I know you know I don't want beards, or you know in the, uh, the face shape group, I know I only want the rounded one, so I'm gonna select and delete these. And as you start to delete these different parts, you will start to simplify the character so you can focus on the parts that you want. Now this is gonna break a lot of triggers because um, you know, you're gonna get a lot of artwork that's missing, but you will still have the essential parts and then you can basically either take those triggers out or um, set you know, the ones that you want to default triggers so they'll show up immediately. And so that's basically what I did. I just simplified the structure over here on the right and uh, colored in and added a little bit of shading to uh, the different parts of her to make her a colorized custom character. And so there you go. This is what you get inside Character Animator when you save your Illustrator file and then sync it back up. So it's a great starting point for uh, you know getting the eyes and mouth and head and all of these different things and starting with a really nice customizable character. And our last featured character today is Thorn the Troll. This was made by award-winning illustrator Keith Negley. Uh, you may have seen his work in places like the New York Times, the New Yorker, and elsewhere. Um, and this is a great example. This is a promotional thing we did with the Adobe Illustrator team actually on Halloween to show how simple it was to take uh, illustrator pieces and translate them into character animator live performance capture characters. So he's got some nice arm movement there. Um, there's some foreground and background elements. I love the color palette in this, you know, just simple blues and oranges, but it really is uh, nice and takes kind of that flat, uh, almost, you know, cut out uh, style character um, and makes him um, come to life in a really nice way. So again, you can download these free template characters by going to adobe.com slash go slash ch examples or clicking the see more link in the start workspace. If you create anything with any of our example characters, we would love to see what you make. Please share your videos and creations with us using hashtag character animator on social media. And if you run into any issues, the best place to get help is in the official character animator forums. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and have fun.